What up guys, it is a beautiful day here and uh, yeah, the shop is looking a little empty. And why is that? The MR2 is finally at RT tuning, getting sorted, getting the suspension dialed in. That car is gonna be so sick uh, once it's ready to go and on the road and you guys are gonna start seeing it out and about at more events. Now this past weekend, unfortunately, the Toyota Tundra had a little bit of an incident and then I'm gonna show you um, and uh, Stinks, Hates, hate to see it happen to brand new cars. But also the Corrado is getting cleaned up and uh, we are having a massive Corrado meet and uh, that's what we're getting ready for. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so first off, I hope you guys had an absolutely great weekend. I actually really did. I know I made mention of the Toyota Tundra having a little bit of an incident, and uh, it is what it is. Cars, you drive them a lot, things happen, and you move on. Um, the great news is that uh, we're gonna start getting a little bit more into that truck now that the MR2 is out of here. As you can see, the MR2's gone. It is finally at, its, uh, at the shop getting the suspension dialed in, getting the engine dialed in. Um, it's got some leaks, it's got some creaks, it's got some crust and rust and all this other stuff. As you know, suspension was removed. Those old crusties are finally out and we have the brand new Bob Fam coilovers on that with the Swift Springs. I'm super excited to see what that turns out with um, all of the other upgrades that are gonna be going on with that car. We are trying to make a list at this point mean RT tuning rather of what the car kind of just needs to get on the road and then also I do want to have them do some things I believe I want to upgrade the sway bars or some more suspension work even though that we have the coilovers on there MR2s they're old they uh, that car has been sitting for a very very long time almost 10 years in a garage so I want to get that car up and running I'm excited to have that car on the road and I kind of want to beat it up and have some fun because the engine in it doesn't really matter to me I plan on taking that engine out so um, yeah, with that being said, MR2, it's in progress and we're gonna be seeing a lot more of that on the channel soon. Now, with, uh, with that being out of here, we can finally concentrate on cleaning up the Corrado. We have a absolutely massive Corrado meet going on this weekend. Um, if you are local to the tri-state area, and by tri-state area, I mean New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, um, we have Maryland showing up, Pennsylvania, I think we have Long Island, we got New York, we got New Jersey. So many Corrados are gonna be there. We are looking at 20 plus Corrados showing up to this event, which is unheard of. Um, I think the most cars that we've had together so far with the group that I've, you know, that I'm kind of in touch with and my friends, we've only had 17 total. And at that meet, it was three or four of them weren't even running because the owner's house that we were at had three or four. So, um, excited to see all those cars in one place. If you are local and you wanna show up, please hit me up in the comments, DM me. We will get you on the thread. We will let you know exactly where it is. Um, it is actually at B&M Auto Works. Shout out to Malcolm. Um, he is the, Car the Corrado guru. Um, one of a couple in the area, but uh, if you guys need any assistance, we have an absolutely great chain, a great group of guys um, that, uh, Help me out, help, we help out each other whatever way we can, whether it's parts, whether you know there's an issue, so on and so forth. So uh, give me a shout out if you're interested. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up. I'm probably gonna get some wheels put on it. I am gonna probably go back to my OZ middles. I haven't had them on since, you know, before the steering rack was replaced because just had such a bad shutter and shake in the steering that uh, I took them off because of their weight. The RPF ones are so much lighter. Uh, they did an absolutely, um, they did, I shouldn't say they did an absolutely amazing job. They did a really good job of just not causing the problems um, that I was having until the steering rack actually just kind of took a dump. And uh, if you guys saw my previous videos, you would know that. But now that the steering rack's good and new, the suspension's all new in the front, I can go back to my heavier wheels and we won't have an issue. Anyway, with that being said, let's go check out the Toyota Tundra and uh, what I did to it. All right, here we are. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look how nice it is. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Luke, what, what are you talking about? Doesn't look like there's any problems here, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of an incident. <laughs> so it's not major. It is stupid and little, but that really stinks. Um, I was at my sister's house for a party that she was having, family gathering. And uh, when we were leaving, she's a very, very tight driveway. I was making the cut, the turn, thought I didn't have enough space and I had to back up. And when I did that, I uh, went into some bushes and unfortunately it scratched the paint. Now, I don't know if that was actually the bushes, if she had like a post there or something like that. 100% uh, on me. I should have paid attention. I probably should have had her move the car that was kind of in my way, but it is what it is. And now that's gonna have to get fixed. The plus side is I did plan on having that car um, brought to have the tow mirrors put on it. Um, again, I'm only being cautious with that because of warranty stuff. I don't wanna put my hands on it and have any issues. If you do have a warranty, don't void it out for some stupid reason. Now, I can't 100% say that because I did tune my Cayman. It did have a decent amount of warranty left on it, but um, my concern with that car isn't so much the um, engine and, and transmission and that sort of stuff. It's more along the lines of the electronics in that car. And the same thing goes for the Toyota. But even with the Cayman, it's not my everyday car. So if it breaks and it's not covered under warranty, you know, you can give yourself a little bit of leeway with that because you're not driving it every day. And if you need to wait two, three weeks to get it fixed, totally different than the Tundra, which is my everyday vehicle um, for now. Uh, I think I made mention I might be in the market for a 996 Porsche or something else to kind of just break up the um, every day on that truck because I have been putting a lot of miles on it. And uh, as much as I would love to just be driving these other cars, the Corrado specifically, um, being that it's a Corrado, um, the MR2 might you know be able to get me some uh, miles in between. Um, and the Cayman obviously is the most logical uh, replacement as far as that is concerned too. But I want something that's a little bit more practical, it does have a little bit of a back seat that I can at least, if I need to pick up my son or uh, just throw some stuff into the back of, I have a little bit more space. And unfortunately, a lot of the cars that I own don't have that. Um, and when the Skyline R32 GTR is done, now that it's gonna be a full resto, not gonna be wanting to run to Home Depot with that thing. So um, other than that, that's pretty much it. But yeah, shop's looking very, very empty, but that's a good thing because that just means that we are getting somewhere with the projects that I started and might mean that we take on a little bit more in the near future, which I'm pretty stoked on too, if that becomes um, uh, available to us. The problem is, is the market right now is absolutely insane in the type of vehicles that I like to purchase, that is the case. Now, if there is something you guys would like to see on this channel, I know a lot of my followers and a lot of the people that are coming to visit my channel are for the Toyota Tundra. The issue with that truck is how crazy do you go? <laughs> and do I get a vehicle to replace it um, as an everydayer? Um, I would love to start doing more truck stuff too. Uh, but now the thought process is, do we do this with the Tundra or do we get another truck that we could do a little bit more stuff to and have a little bit more fun with um, as far as off-roading and that sort of stuff. So let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Please hit that like button. It does wonders for the algorithm and makes the videos much more uh, available to uh, the viewers out there that don't get a chance to see them because it's a smaller channel. That's about it guys. Thank you so much. I will see you guys soon and hopefully uh, we won't be making any more, um, won't be having any more incidents with the newer cars. Thanks guys. See you soon.